Well, hundreds of people walk this bridge every day, and that was what Carl Blessing was trying to capture. The pulse of the city as Art Prize was winding down on Friday, but to his surprise, he caught something special. Carl Blessing set up his camera at the end of the bridge, capturing the world as it passed by. It was a 30 minute time lapse. I figured, you know, down here just after Art Prize, there were a lot of foot traffic down here. After he waited, the big reveal. So you were going through your time lapse and then. Yeah, the guy Neil and I'm like, wait, is that a proposal? <laughs> that sure enough, it was. But I edited the video later just because I thought a proposal. So it would be great to slow it down right there. And then he went on a quest to find the couple, posting on social media, hoping to track the two down. I don't remember <laughs> seeing anybody actually. <laughs> and today, Carl Blessing met one of them. It was exciting because we both forgot to take pictures. I had woken up Saturday morning kind of disappointed that I hadn't um, had any pictures taken because I was so excited it just didn't even cross my mind. After learning he caught the engagement, Blessing even created some still shots for the couple. I hope they have a great wedding. Maybe I can shoot it. <laughs> yeah, maybe he can. I don't know. We haven't quite decided what we're doing yet. We haven't thought that far. But they have decided how they feel about each other. Still a little surreal. Thanks to Carl's blessings. Carl Blessing has also shot several time lapses around the city. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Sarah Hurwitz, 24 Hour News 8. Everybody wants to know who Patty is, so we actually named the truck Patty. Patty isn't a person, it's a thing. We call it the Padillac. Patty Matters, one of nine food trucks in the newly formed Grand Rapids Food Truck Association, serving food in most West Michigan cities, except Grand Rapids. Because we can't vend in Grand Rapids, so it's really hard for us to find a place to park in the city that we're actually allowed to. And in Allendale, it's, it's a one-time permit fee, and we can park out here as much as we want. We're only permitted to operate on private property. The private property owner has to get a special land use permit. That requires a public hearing and approval, not to mention a $1,900 fee. To this point, there's only one location downtown that's gone through that process, and that's the Grand Rapids Art Museum. Many city leaders, including Mayor Bliss, showing their support for vendors during the State of the City Address, hoping to make more spaces available for food trucks to operate. Food trucks are an entry point for culinary entrepreneurship, and we should aspire to support their startup and evolution. Looking to revise the current ordinance in a way that's both respectful of current business fronts and expands designated areas, hours of operation, and streamlines licensing. So good. And if this ordinance is revised, you'll be able to have food truck options coming to local Grand Rapids streets outside of approved businesses. In a way that cultivates a growing food truck population. It's happening. Definitely some progress is being made. There have been a lot of conversations um, with people involved in the process. Having the mayor's support is, is absolutely huge. I pleaded guilty to a DUI third offense. I apologize for my mistake. He spoke to us along with his attorney as he was checking back into jail, where he's allowed to leave every day on work release. A Kent County deputy arrested Greenwich in June after finding him sleeping behind the wheel of a pickup truck late at night along the road at Cherry Valley in 84. His blood alcohol level was 0 0.148, nearly twice the legal limit. Greenwich had been convicted of impaired driving in 2008 and drunk driving in 2010. For this, he was sentenced November 3rd, five days before the election, to two months in jail, despite letters of support, including one from former Michigan Lieutenant Governor Dick Postumus. Then yesterday, the village attorney asked him to step down. He stated he was uh, being asked by the village to send a recommendation to Governor Snyder to have him removed from office. Do you have any intention of stepping down? No, I do not. My conviction of the DUI has nothing to do with what I can do for the village and the people that live within there. I have a deep compassion for that town. I've lived there all my life. Greenwich says his conviction was no secret before the election, but the outgoing village president told us he didn't find out until after. I have no idea if it was to the voters, if they knew or not. Uh, um, I was unaware of it. He's a, a good, very good person, very well liked. Unfortunately, he's in a tough situation right now, and I think what has to happen is we just have to let the, the legal process take it, its uh, due course and see what happens.
Greenwich says he'll be out of jail before his term starts. I have to go. Halloween isn't the only time of year you can dress up in a costume and look normal. Grand Rapids Comic Con, it's here and we're all super excited. Now, I love dressing up. I am a uh, version of Harley Quinn that I did myself. I think it looks pretty cool. You may not. <laughs> but I put on Twitter, anyone who's coming out and cosplaying at Grand Rapids Comic Con can join me and let's chat and let's see your costumes. So luckily I got a few people that did do that. Izzy, you're one of them. You go to Saugatuck High School and your teacher saw this on Twitter. That's so cool. Tell me about what you are. What are you doing? Um, I'm Marsha Lee from Adventure Time. That's awesome. Now, what is, like, how did you do it? How did you do the paint? All that um, good stuff. Well, the paint is just Snazaroo. It's water-based, and it's really easy to put on. The clothes were clothes I already had, and I thought it would work well because they're, like, his costume. And the wig I got a while ago, and, yeah. You're only a junior in high school, and you, like, put all this together yourself? Yep. And I know you're not going to like this. Can you show off the teeth? Got a little. <laughs> I'll do it with you. Ready? <laughs> did she do it? Did you see it? All right. Well, you look fantastic. Now we're over here. We got Jem in the holograms. Tell me, Julia, well, how'd you come up with Jem? <laughs> um, well, there's there's been a big resurgence in in 80s pop stuff, oh, which yeah. is really fun. Huge. And um, of course, there's the new movie coming out, which all of my friends are appalled by because it's not Jem. No, it's not. It's not Jem. They're these big, powerful characters, and they took and made them into little wimpy girls who can't do anything quite on their own, and everything goes wrong. And we were like, ugh. So, so you're bringing back the real Jem. Yeah, yeah. with so, with some modern twists. So Jem, and you're one of the holograms. Yeah. I Aja. Love it. So how did you guys come up with your costumes? Because these are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, lots of goodwill shopping, which yeah. everyone could should do because it's awesome. Oh, and yeah, heck yeah. Uh, uh, eyelash glue solves a multitude of sins, <laughs> and um, you can find any sort of wig on Amazon, which you is can really find awesome. Wigs everywhere. Yeah. And glitter. And, yeah. yeah, and then lots glitter, glitter. Glue lines <laughs> that. Lots and lots and lots of glitter. Well, you guys look perfect, and I think you should go to the movie anyway, even though you're appalled by it, just to show <laughs> this is what Gem looks like. This is what it should be. And then now we've got our favorite car guys. We've got Speed Racer Doug. Tell me a little bit about Speed Racer, the Speed Racer family. Uh, Speed Racer family, Valerie and Connor, Spradle and Trick, or Sparky now and Trixie, he's, he's graduated. He's graduated. Uh, he's not the monkey anymore either. Um, yeah, we're out here for Grand Rapids Comic Con. Uh, this is our third year and uh, really excited to see everything that's going to be going on. And you built this car yourself. Yes, yes I did. Like, what gave you the idea to do that? Uh, it was five-year-old Doug sitting, sitting in front of the television watching Speed Racer and drawing a little car around him and then just one day I decided I'll build it. Oh, yeah, I'll build it. Why not? Build my own. I bet you get some crazy looks on the road. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, you, you tend to get uh, oh, a lot of cool. people. I like when police go by and get selfies with the car. Oh, that's um, awesome. That, it's always nice. So We've got one more car we got to check out over here. Rich, you got the Starsky and Hutch car. Yes. Yep. Now, where did you get this car? Uh, this is my first car in high school. I got what? it in 1978. Pretty cool first car. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm digging it. So what made you want to come out to Con Comic-Con and do this? Speed Racer Doug. He's a friend he of mine. He talked you into it. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever have to restore it, or are you just that guy that's so good with your car? No, I had a, a frame-off restoration in 2004. Had every nut and bolt in my hand and reassembled it. and. That's incredible. That looks fantastic. All right, thank you. For more information on Grand Rapids Comic Con, go online, fox17online.com. I even heard that sometime today, our very own Mike Davis is going to be here signing autographs. So make sure to check that out, too. In Grand Rapids today, I'm Jackie Green with Fox 17 News.